Hi everyone, it's Mama Mochi, and today I'm going to teach you some winter themed vocabulary in Japanese. Whether you're celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah, or your own holidays, this will be a variety of vocabulary that you can use. Today, you will learn 25 new words in Japanese about the winter and holiday season. So, let's get into it. So, I think it's appropriate to first teach you the word for winter in Japanese. That is, Fuyu. This means the winter season. The next word is danro. This means fireplace. Mafura. This means scarf. It comes from the English word muffler. Kokoa. This means hot chocolate or hot cocoa. Very popular drink when it's cold outside. Fuyu yasumi. This means winter holidays. Fuyu, which we've already learned, means winter, and yasumi means to take a rest or take a break. Yuki. This means snow. Every winter season in Sapporo, there is a yuki matsuri. This is a snow festival. It is very famous all across Japan. Seta. This is the word for sweater. Next word is hatsuyuki. This means the first snow. Sugosu. This means to spend time with, such as spend time with your family or spend time with your friends. Fuyubare. This means a blue sky with cold weather. This is a special kind of expression unique to Japanese language. There isn't really a direct English translation because English doesn't actually have one. In English, you would just use a few words or a phrase to describe it. Another example of this type of expression in Japanese is Hatsuzemi. This means the first time you hear the cicadas sing in the new year. This is a really cool aspect of Japanese grammar and definitely worth studying into. Next word is kazahana. This means snow flurry. I actually really love this word because of its kanji. You have the kanji for wind, which is kaze, and the kanji for flower, which is hana. So, put together, this is like a wind of flowers because snowflakes actually kind of look like flowers. Christmas. Obviously, this one means Christmas. Uh, it comes from the English word Christmas. <laughs> Kotatsu. This is a Japanese table equipped with a heater and a hanging quilt. There isn't really an English word for this because they only exist in Japan. People use these in their houses and their apartments during the winter season or when it's cold weather because they are super cozy and warm. Oshogatsu. This means the new year. Takibi. This means a bonfire. Fubuki. A snowstorm. Tsurara. This means icicle. Tebukuro. This means gloves. Yuki Gasen. This is a snowball fight. Mikan. This is a mandarin orange. They are very popular to eat as snacks and desserts during the winter because that's when they are in season. Next word is Yuki Daruma. This is a snowman. Next word is Shimo. This means frost. Samui. Cold. You can also use this word to describe the weather or something you feel is cold. And the final word for today is sori. This means sled. We still have a few months left in the winter season, so that's plenty of time for you to use and practice all of your new winter vocabulary in Japanese. There are so many words in Japanese that can be used to describe the winter season, but I hope that these words that you've learned today will help you get started in learning more. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, happy holidays, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!